it has become the trend that most of our crime fighters have, uh, in one way or another, always ended up in the negativity. It is so sad. But uh, it is not right, too, for us to uh, jump at conclusion that uh, he's guilty because he has not been tried under Nigerian laws yet. And I think we have so many uh, hurdles we need to cross before we conclude that uh, uh, DCP and Bakiari is actually guilty. Yes, uh, we've heard the allegation that the U.S. court has indicted him. We probably heard that uh, he was not really indicted. Well, he's been asked an arrest warrant was issued, and um, but not from uh, not yet from a Nigerian court or our judicial system. We need to subject that and um, to the, the, the indictment to our own system, and to be sure that um, yes. He is actually guilty of uh, those offenses. And if, if he's found guilty, he's very unfortunate. And I, I also trust that he will lie with the Attorney General of the Federation while doing this to get the substance, to arrive at the legal substances of these accusations and then uh, to establish the culpability of the officer in charge or consign. And uh, I'm also sure that by the time he gets these facts right, he's going to refer the matter to the Police Service Commission. That uh, whose authority it is to 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 punish, and uh, for now, the the IGP is we are selected properly, and I think we are satisfied with uh, the the decision has taken and what it's doing. Uh, punishment for for crimes vary when the police officer commits infractions on the on the service code. So the warning, then a reprimand, severe reprimand. Reduction in rank and actual dismissal. These are the the, the the penalties that we can impose on any serving officer from the rank, rank of deputy inspector general of police to uh, a constable in the police.